Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review and today we are going to be going over the mod called Astomer's Forest Craft which as you can see adds in quite a lot of new items to the mod and we're going to be going over that and exploring this mod today but guys if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and smash that like button because you don't want to miss any of the mod showcases we do on the channel or mod battles that is and uh yeah now we got that out of the way let's crack on with today's episode so as i was saying this mod adds in quite a few new and awesome items all the way from brand new blocks and ores to new tools music items armor sets weapons and mobs there are even a few new biomes scattered around as well which is pretty awesome i must say so these are the new blocks added to this mod. We have a new ore as well and we have a new few jewel items that we can find around the world and craft with, which is pretty amazing. And it's great that they give you a few options and variations in ways to get this ore as well. Because you can actually get this ore from one of the mobs in this mod or you can find it spawned in like this in the crystal or gem biome just like that and you can mine this up to get the different gems that are added into this mod we go up to where is it here we go get these gems here and you also get the jewel warts as well which are you you're going to use to craft some new and awesome armor sets which are over here so here is the jewel and then here is the now can i pronounce it correctly enderite armor set it is pretty amazing it is extremely strong as well because you use some neverite to craft it now to craft it if we go over to here now i will show you the process in which it is crafted for you guys to remember so we'll take this one for example uh we'll go to here using the ingots so to make one enderite ingot you use this potion you need some dragon's breath you need a neverite ingot and you need an ender pearl and doing this method will get you some enderite to make you be able to craft some of this enderite armor it is some pretty awesome stuff, I must say, guys. So this is how you do it. You put a bit of Neverite in there, or a bit of Neverite armor in there. Then you mix it in the smithing table with some Enderite, and it will pop out some Enderite armor. So it's almost the way you go from Diamond to Neverite armor. It's sort of a similar process, and it is very strong. Obviously, it is stronger than standard Neverite. You can see the difference there. It's about double almost double double in knockback anyway um so it is a very cool looking armor set as well in fact let's put some of it on right now it is the strongest armor set in this mod over here we have the sharpened leaves armor set which is it's all right it's it's not strong in the slightest um but it's crafted from sharpened leaves which you can find in the new biome and you find them in sharpened leaf blocks which is which is quite funny if you think about it here you go some sharpened leaves there and yeah it's an alright looking armor set but my personal favorite is this it looks pretty awesome I like the little detail on the helmet and on the chest plate and yeah it just looks great and we also have some new weapons in this mod as well guys a lot of these are crafted from some of the mob bosses you are able to find in this mod as well which we'll take a look at the mob bosses later but we'll take a look at how to craft some of their weapons now so this is the insanity blade it is made from the eye of the alpha insane dog we'll go over those mobs you find them in the desert they are strong powerful bosses in this mod and you mix that with some insane wool now let's take a look at one of the other weapons in here we have the molten fishing rod as well which you mix some neverite with to get the molten fishing rod we also have this axe which is pretty awesome um i'm not even going to try and pronounce it for you because i will mess it up 
We also have this guy here, which you have to find. And yeah, you add some awesome items into the world. And I really like the musical items they add in also. They are pretty great and they're really easy to use as well. I forget when I'm in creative, if I do that, it doesn't give me them for whatever weird reason. So we'll get it out. To control these purely, you have to look up and down. And with this one, you've got to click to use the strings. So it's a banjo. So rotate your head and right click to use it. So yeah, go ahead, create some tunes. You can have a little band with your mates. It'd be pretty cool, it'd be pretty awesome. And there's obviously some tool sets with the new ingots and ores as well. But now we've gone over that and taken a look at that, guys, let's go take a gander at some of the mobs in this mod. So sometimes walking along the plains, you will come across these two large legged animals. These are the Terror Bringers. On their website, they are still named the Terror Birds. Which are, you know, they look more like Terror Birds, but they changed the name to Terror Bringers. And the player is not a priority target for them. Most likely, as soon as you stumble upon them, they will see you. They will mercilessly peck at you and the animals around you and then eat them. They're not really going to go for you. They're going to go and eat the animals sort of around you. You can see they're attacking pretty much anything in sight. Um, they are very fast and they do have a lot of damage. One of the ways to escape from these guys though is to throw meat at it to distract it. But if you still get, still kill one of these monsters then most likely you will get some feathers dropped from them and a small chance you will get their claws which are a good weapon which I had up on the board earlier. So you could go ahead and get some terror bird claws. Which look pretty awesome and they are pretty strong as well. So now we'll go on to some of the smaller mobs in this mod before we get on to the big mob bosses out there. So we have the deer, a very harmless mob you'll see wandering around the forest and the plains. Very cute, I do like them a lot, they look awesome. Then we have the gem golems as well, which as I said, you will find them in the gem caves and their own new sort of biome. And you can obviously mine them and they will drop the gem items, you know, to craft the armors. Then we have some infected zombies, which you're more likely to see roaming around the swamp biomes. They are awesome looking new variant on the zombie, I must say. Then a little mob we have is the cicadas. They're just, you know, general cicadas. They just add a little bit more to the world, a little bit more diversity, I guess you could say. Then we have the Canuck, which I honestly do not know how to describe this mob. It is a rolling ball of spikes. There isn't a description for this mod on the Curse Forge website yet. Um, but it looks like it's an aquatic mob because every time I spawn it on land, it goes straight for the water. So that's what I'm presuming, but it does seem to go on land as well a little bit. It's like a giant spiky puffer fish, really. And then we have the Bakudan, which throws these weird blocks as its projectiles. They seem like angry little mobs, and to me, they look like they'd more than likely appear in the Never rather than on the Overworld. But as I said, there isn't a description for these guys yet, so I'm just going off pure speculation. I haven't come across any in the Overworld as of yet, so that's why I say the Never. Some other big mobs added in, or well, interesting mobs, we have the Eater of the Depths. Yet again, sadly, there isn't a description about this mob, but from the title, I'm going, it's a dangerous mob that you don't want to come across. In the water, it's quite substantial in size, and from, yes, its name, I presume it will eat you without remorse. And then one we do have a description for is called the Night Watcher. Now, when you go to bed at night and it, you know, and you're wondering why you can't sleep, well, a message will appear. You cannot sleep while it is looking at you and it is referring to the Night Watcher. That is because a Night Watcher is around about you. They are a passive mob. They won't hurt you and they won't attack you straight on sight, but they will stop you from sleeping. And the only way to start sleeping again, even if you go far away from these guys, 
is to kill them. But to kill them, they have not many hearts, not many lives. As you can see, they're fairly low health. Um, well, I'll say fairly low health. Still got 30, so I guess substantial a little bit. But they have quite a few abilities. They have the ability to teleport you anywhere in the world and drop you and deal you damage. So you just have to be very careful when going up against one of these guys. But if you ever want to sleep again, you have to take them down. When wandering around the desert, you will come across the insane dogs. You will find them roaming around in quite substantially large packs. They tend to congregate near the bones, and you can tell where they've been because of the bones in the desert. And you can follow those around to tend to find the pack. As you can see, they've all been around over here, which I also feel is a nice added feature to the desert biome. It really adds a bit more, well, not life because they're bones, but it just adds a bit more texture to them, I must say. But occasionally and rarely, you will find the alpha insane dog, which looks like this. And this dog's goal is to go around and build as big a pack of other insane dogs as possible. And these dogs are not tameable. They are not tameable in the slightest. They are very dangerous and can easily kill the player. Just a pack, a small pack of insane dogs can kill a player, let alone when congregated and organized by the alpha insane dog here. They are recognized, one, by their new feature and by the eye on top of their head, the additional eye. I think they look awesome and they are very, very much one of my favorite mobs in this mod. I love the dynamic of them. I love how they work as a unit and as a pack. I'm also going to turn their sounds down because they are quite loud, I must say. Um, but yes, I just feel they are a very awesome mob and they drop alpha insane fur as well which you are going to use to craft some of the new weapons in this mod it's what you're going to use to craft this sword here is what you're going to use to craft this bow here you only get the this eye from the eye of the alpha insane dog it is one of its rare drops so you won't always get it but it's worth going around fighting these guys to get that because it is an awesome item to have. You are also going to be able to craft one of the new helmets in this mod. This guy right here, the insane helmet. It gives you strength, but it also gives you hunger. Become part of the pack. I love that. I think that is a great selling feature for it. So, this was the Alpha Insane Dog and its horde. During thunderstorms, you are going to come across the Thunder Screamer, this awesome looking bird. It is just spectacular, I must say. The reason I haven't spawned in the thunderstorm is purely for sound purposes. But it is a passive mob as well. It doesn't mean to hit you with its lightning bolts, but it can. It will tend, tend to throw down lightning bolts randomly causing damage to just the surrounding area. It's not particularly targeting anything or anyone in particular, but sooner as attacked, it will create an electrifying field around itself, just really damaging anything within its close vicinity. And this attack is a devastating one at that. So you wanna take this bird out from a distance. And even after its death, its body will fall to the ground and still be electrified. So you just have to wait over time to really go in there and harvest the parts from it. But once doing that, it is very, very much worth it as it will drop some thunder feathers right here. And then you're able to use these thunder feathers to create the electrite, which you are going to combine with some diamonds and a jewel wart as well. And you're going to use this to craft the new and very powerful sword in the mod, the Electron. It shoots out electrical bursts from it, damaging anything in its surrounding vicinity. So, a very, very sought after weapon in this mod. But just be aware, thunderstorms and this mob spawning in them are very rare. So take your opportunities when you can if you do see one of these mobs. But be prepared for a difficult battle. Now we move on to one of the big mob bosses in this game, the Queen Bee. 
that does not spawn naturally in this world. What you will find though is these giant beehives tend to be found in the forest or the flower biomes. They are just huge hives. Immediately after destroying this, the queen bee will break out of this hive and attack the player. The queen is very aggressive boss and will attack all non-bees as well as other queens in the surrounding area. So if you somehow come across two of these hives, they will attack each other if you break them, which is mad. And they will sting the player with their huge stingers and infl inflict a lot of damage on them as well as unleash her own bee minions on them, which she constantly summons. Also, the queen bee is able to capture bees from the wild and domestic hives and make them fight against you. So if you have your own bee hives, she will, she will devastate you. There is really no taking out this lady. She is mad. Um, if you manage to kill her though, then after her death, the queen will explode to form a huge pile of honey blocks. As a drop, you will receive several hives, honeycombs, and a large stinger, which can be converted into a new sword that inflicts poisoning on enemies. So, let's bust her out of here, or well, let's spawn her in rather, because, you know, creative, yay. So, here she is, and she is a mad one. So, let's take her down, and let's see what this drop gives us. So let's go out and get one of the swords from this mod because I feel like that's what we should do really use one of this sword one of this mods own swords now what do we really fancy on using this is quite a strong one but I feel like this might be stronger so this is a good opportunity for us to really use these swords and see how much damage they inflict on them she is yeah she's taking quite a bit of damage I must say it's not max, but still a fair bit. I think this is an awesome looking mob. And you can see how difficult it would be to kill this mob with all these bees flying around. So you got to be careful when coming across this one and be very well equipped. So here we go. Let's take a look at this animation. I'm excited to see this. That is awesome. So what did we have dropped for us? We got some beehives, some honeycombs, and that giant stinger we were on about earlier. So yes, we would be able to craft this stinger sword right here, but we would need two giant stingers to do it. It is probably one of the stronger swords in the mod, so it is worth the battle. The final mob we have today, guys, is the Iguana King. Now, there is no description about this mod that I can find so far. It is a fairly new mob into this mod, and it is probably my favourite. Look at this guy, he looks epic. He has the highest HP of all the mobs so far, and is a very aggressive mob. He will attack like the Queen, it seems to be anything in the surrounding area. Now, I don't specifically know where this mob would spawn in. I take a guess at the jungle biomes or the more green of the forest and plain biomes. That is my best guess. But he looks epic. And there you go. That is one of his moves. And is he being, what is he being attacked by? I have no idea. He's just on a rampage and he destroys a lot of stuff in the surrounding area. I love that animation and that dynamic with this mob. That is why I would go to say it is my favourite mob in this mod. That along with... Oh, it's, it's a hard one with the Alpha Insane Dog and the Queen Bee. They are all amazing mobs. But I want to know what your guys' favourite mob from this mod is. And have you played this mod? Have you downloaded it yet if not are you going to after watching this mod showcase let me know in the comment section down below but as always guys thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time see ya